I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. This is the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for April 5th, 2024. Just the News reports, nest egg inflation. Savings Americans think they'll need to retire soars 53% under Biden. The bills for groceries, rent, and gasoline aren't the only things soaring in Joe Biden's America. The amount of money Americans feel like they need to squirrel away in order to retire has jumped by more than half since Donald Trump left office. A study conducted by Northwestern Mutual found U.S. adults believe that they will need to have $1.46 million saved in order to retire, up 15% for last year's $1.27 million estimate and 53% from the $951,000 figure face cited in 2020 before Biden took office. In February, the Federal Consumer Price Index reported that the inflation rate increased 3.2% as voters remain on edge about the economy ahead of the 2024 election. The Washington Examiner reports, ranked choice voting could be on the ballot for D.C. come November. Washington, D.C. voters will give the opportunity in November to choose whether or not they want to implement a ranked choice voting initiative. The initiative seeks to allow independent voters to participate in party primaries and gives voters the ability to choose a preferred candidate first, and if they don't win, voters can choose their next favorite until one candidate can secure more than half of the votes. The D.C. Elections Board approved the initiative last month, despite opposition from the city's Democratic Party. The D.C. Democratic Party filed two lawsuits against the measure. However, a judge threw out the first lawsuit last summer and dismissed the second one last week. And finally, Axios reports, Trump RNC report raising $65.6 million in March. The Republican National Committee and former President Trump brought in a combined $65.6 million in March and ended the month with over $93.1 million cash on hand, the group said on Wednesday. More than a third of the total came from grassroots donors, meaning those who gave under $200. The Biden campaign and the DNC have not yet announced their March fundraising numbers, and both campaigns' official numbers aren't due with the Federal Election Commission until later this month. That was the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for April 5th, 2024. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.